You all right? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Um, <laughs> Forty-seven ninety-nine plus the AT. It were going to cost us for a smoke machine tonight. <laughs> Quid. <laughs> Did it get you in the games, love? So sorry. But I guess it's only when we realise we're dying. <laughs> Do we truly wake up and start learning how to live? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute pleasure it is to be this evening. <laughs> Shoosh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just rice. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Morgan Berry, number one, 24 hour pet bereavement counsellor. <laughs> I specialise in a very unique kind of pet loss. <laughs> you probably already guessed it, that's right. Rabbit bereavement. <laughs> if you've lost a dog, a cat, a horse, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You should have lost a rabbit. <laughs> now, I don't like thinking to do remarks. <laughs> thinking, you're not English, are you, Morgan? No, I'm not. I'm not English, I'm Bafrican. <laughs> Born in Barnsley, <laughs> raised in Africa. <laughs> Bafrican. <laughs> now, Sorry, I am coming to you. I haven't been drawn to you, my friend. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I can't ignore it anymore. I, I know what you do on Tuesday afternoons between the hours of 5.45 and half past 6. <laughs> but don't worry, you see, you safe for me. But all I'm going to say is if you are going to use tin peaches, pull a sheet down. <laughs> now, if you have lost a rabbit, the chances are... Your happiness up to this point in life has not been great. And I can prove it. So ladies and gentlemen, Sheffield, please put your hands up if you've, if you've ever lost a rabbit. Come on, don't be shy. That's it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, there. That's wait for that one there. I can sense it. Okay. Don't worry. We're all in swell, yeah. I give you a cheer. If you didn't have a rabbit. Notice how much happier the people that didn't have rabbits so. are. <laughs> now, before I help you, it's important that you trust me, okay? So I'm going to share a little of my story with you. When I was eight months years old, I was found on a landfill site by a man in a digger. He found me inside a microwave, being suckled, suckled by rabbits. <laughs> I was taken to an orphanage and adopted by Botswana parents. We were on a gap year in Barnsley. <laughs> My African mother, Chatiwa Berry, <laughs> was unable to breastfeed. So I got all my nutrients from sucking on the teeth of lactating rabbits. <laughs> Over the years, I drank gallons of the milk and naturally acquired many of their skills and characteristics. <laughs> a very high libido. <laughs> Yes! Fecal pellets! <laughs> and my lovers staring into the headlights of oncoming traffic. <laughs> I grew up surrounded by rabbits. I learned to live like and walk like and talk like and. <laughs> <laughs> that means I either we're not bad, what you've been up to, not a lot. <laughs> Just munching on twigs. <laughs> It's so very similar to Welsh. <laughs> <laughs>